what's up everyone this is the raw truth coming at you with a quick video and this video you know is was inspired by one of my listeners one of my viewers you know we've been conversating and he's seen some videos that I've made about black women and he's you know he's I, I, I guess and believe that he's been on YouTube and seen other people make videos and stuff and he's a young man, you know, he's 26 years old, and he's very, very wise. And, you know, for anybody who say that, you know, uh, black men don't care about black women and stuff like that, you know, we, I'm, I'm 41 years old, guys before me, and, uh, and guys that are starting to be young, you know, actually really care about black women. You know, for anybody to say that we bash black women, we actually want black women to be the best that they are. The fact that the matter is black women do not want to be the best that they are. And so, you know, Cortez Pates, you know, you know give yourself a shout out. You know, this he wants the title will be Black Women Have Limited Options. Now, when he gave that to me, <clears throat> black woman have limited options that's the title that you know I'm naming this because that's what he wants and I got to looking at black women have limited options and I knew how how I could go any kind of way but I was you no know, I, I like to ask when people reach out to me I like you no know, I like to ask what they what they think you know and the brother he gave me nine points to go over and me, normally, I really turn the mic on, just rock on out, freestyle, and just talk from the heart and everything like that. But this is his heart, so I respect you enough, Cortez. I wrote it down, and I'm going to go through each point, and going through the points I've noticed, you know, it uh, may be another wording of another point, but I'll explain to it. <clears throat> I'll explain it as well. So that's the title of this video. Black women have limited options. Hmm. I mean, that's a powerful <laughs> that's a powerful title in itself. Black women have limited options because we see it time after time. I remember they ran uh, a video of Oprah Winfrey and Oprah Winfrey. She's sitting there, you know, with her legs crossed, looking like she's a diva when she's just a damn peasant. And she said, "All right, ladies, hold on. This is not a misprint, but at that time, seventy percent of women, black women, that is, are single. Seventy percent." And I'm watching it, you know, clip by clip, and it was showing, um, it was, it, it, basically, it's a lot of black women that's making excuses, you know, and, and, and every time black women, you know, make excuses, it's only to deflect, uh, uh, deflect their failures, because black women want to hold the whole world responsible but yet have a problem holding their own damn self responsible. Hmm. So, this is for you, Cortez Pates. Black women have limited options. The first point, he brought out no self-identity. <laughs> wow. This young man, 26 years old, <clears throat> brought out a very powerful point. No self-identity. When you look at self, that's you. That's you. Your identity. You have no identity. Why? Because you're putting fake hair in. You're putting somebody else's hair in instead of growing yourself. You have no identity. Why? Because you want to back every non-black man up instead of your man. Keep in mind, black woman, I want you to pay very close attention. Contrary to popular belief, the seed of a man determines and dictates the um, gender and the sex of the baby. Understand they call it sperm. What is sperm? That seed. That seed. And when that seed hits the egg, then it fertilizes the egg. And when it fertilizes the egg, 
then the baby begins to born. Without the seed hitting the egg, there's no pregnancy. The definition of pregnant is carrier of life. Whose life? His life. So when you're getting away from your own man, you yourself is getting away from you. Remember, I can I can turn that, oh, you're a self-hater, right back to you. Right back to you. <laughs> you have no self-identity. Why? Because you're too busy wanting to be like everybody else. You have said plenty of plenty of times that you want to replace the white woman. When you want to replace the white woman, you have taken off the black woman. You're getting butt implants. You're getting booty and uh, the booty injections. You're getting uh, breast implants. You're getting um, uh, things done to your body, scarring your body. And don't you understand, black woman? When you do that, a lot of times black women get addicted. Because they have not appreciate themselves. Because you don't want to be yourself. So you hate yourself. So black woman, by default, you are misogynist against your own damn self. That's why you have no self-identity. Because you want to mix into everything that has nothing to do with you. You want to mix in with everything that has oppressed you. The white man in this system has oppressed black people like crazy, but you felt need to support the white system. And when you supported the white system through filing false charges on your man, picking up the phone, calling the police, what you're doing is you're harming yourself. Why are you harming yourself? You're harming yourself is because when you start when you started to hate your man, do you have to hate who bought you in this earth and who did that? Your father. Remember, black woman, I always say you love to say your mama black. Well, your daddy black. What about him? Second point. No ability to reason. <laughs> wow. No ability to reason. What does he mean by no ability to reason? You are not capable of understanding. You're not capable of talking to. There's been plenty of times when I've talked to women who are not black women and it don't come down to an argument even when both of us is going neck to neck. It doesn't come out and explode to anything. It doesn't explode to anything at all. It's only when talking to black women. You know why? Because if you in a system and part of a system that rewards you for fucking up the community, that rewards you for laying on your back and having kids out of wedlock, that, that rewards you for filing false charges against the black man and then reaping a whole bunch of money in the settlement that you had no business to, uh, to, re uh, to business receiving anyway, if you are in that system like that that keeps rewarding your wickedness number one it stops you from being accountable why because if you're accountable you wouldn't be fucking up you wouldn't be doing this doing uh bringing babies in this world without a husband you wouldn't be fucking pooky and ravey because you know that you are accountable which means that you lack responsibility too why because you're not responsible so when it comes to reasoning when we're out there trying to teach you and try to guide you and try to, you know, as y'all say, be men to stand up and be men. Well, part of being men is getting his own woman in order. And if his woman cannot reason, how can you be in order? I think about a black woman. The best example that I can use is this. I've, I have said many, many a times, it is a fact black women lead in child abuse but what do we hear from you black woman oh you just saying that because you were hurt black woman don't you know how stupid that sound so when folks say, say, uh, have family members die of cancer and start a lemonade stand that's because that person was in pain and that person was in the pain so much of losing somebody who has cancer that he started a lemonade stand. And a lemonade stand, what does it do? It raised money for cancer to help find cures for cancer. But it started because somebody was in pain. When mothers was losing their sons to drunk driving, 
they got mad and all the pain and all the tears and all the crying, they started Mothers Against Drunk Driving because they were mad. And that's what their acronym is, MAD, M-A-D, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, MAD. Somebody die of AIDS, they're going to start a foundation. Everybody who has been through pain, who who wanted to... uh. Who wanted not uh, other people to suffer the same pain that they went through? Started a foundation, started something so that they get here. They reaching out to people to help prevent them, uh, their loved ones, from dying through their pain. Well, don't you understand that's what it's saying uh, where there's pain there's gain come from why because this walk is blood sweat and glory it's not a fun walk living in this world it's not a fun walk and then when we're sitting up there and telling you yo you gotta calm down you gotta stop abusing our children you gotta stop committing murder through clan parenthood murdering 550,000 babies a year and the only fucking thing that you can say is your mama hurt you, you can't fucking reason with the black woman because you have no accountability, you have no responsibility because you're just a retarded ass child who needs to be told over and over again and then finally you won't get it. Number three, no creative will. I'm telling you, Cortez Pates, you, you, wow. <laughs> I love this. I love it. Any of one of my views want me to talk about a topic just like my brother here, shouts out again, shouts out again, Cortez Pates, let me know and give me the points and stuff you want me to discuss. I mean, I'm, I'm having a field day with this because it's so much on point. The brothers don't know that all points are just power. <laughs> no creative will is point number three. No creative will. You know why black, what's wrong black women? They don't have a creative will because everything about them destroys. They destroy their womb through what? 550,000 babies a year being murdered. They destroy their hair. Why? Putting in perms, putting in weeds, putting in wigs. And you know when you're putting in all them weeds and wigs and stuff like that, it suffocates your roots. It suffocates your hair. And what's happening? A lot of black women, if you look at it and research it, they're losing all their hair and their receding hairline look like the look like the Euphrates River's drying the fuck up creative will they have all these fucking degrees that african american uh studies and all these degrees and they want to throw all these degrees at us but yet you have a network of five dollars black woman you have all these fucking degrees shut the fuck up and quit acting like that you just all this better woman Block of a woman well talk about you have all these degrees the asians women have all these degrees you don't hear them saying shit. The white women have all these degrees. You don't hear them saying shit. These East Indies women and even African women got all these degrees. But you don't hear them saying shit. You know why? Because the things they have a degree with, they can take back to their country. You can't even take your shit back to your fucking community. So black woman, shut the fuck up. You ain't building shit. You never build shit. You never pick things up to build. You ain't built out there building roads. You ain't out there building the things that black men are doing. If they're not in college, they're in to ITT tech. They in them schools making it big, having jobs sixty, eighty thousand, or a hundred thousand dollars a year. And the only thing that you got, black woman, is five dollars, <laughs> five dollars in government money, and you think you a diva, and you fucking call yourself a queen. Get the fuck out of here. No creative will whatsoever. And I'm gonna touch more on that because I'm gonna make this um. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, probably t two or three videos depends on it because I got to touch more on the creative will because, see, when you create something, you fasten something together and will is desire. If you can't even desire to be yourself, how can you create desire when you have none in yourself? You have none at all. 
You know what I'm saying? So there's no creative will in black in black women. Our community's in shambles. Y'all create destruction, but creative will? Nah. Nah. Be back with uh, part number two. I'm the raw truth.